service animals, and transit systems. Public transportation is important to the everyday life and spirit of our communities. Every person's life is valuable and holds potential. For many people, public transportation is the only link to work, school, healthcare, and essential services, and how they gain and maintain independence. The mission of public transit is safe, high quality, dependable, and affordable service for all citizens. Many riders have disabilities, some you notice right away, like people who use a wheelchair, oxygen, a cane, or walker. They're easy to spot. Other disabilities are not as obvious. A growing number of people with disabilities depend on service animals. In this video, we'll discuss the rights and responsibilities service animal handlers and transit providers have under the ADA. The Americans with Disabilities Act protects the rights and responsibilities of both the rider and the transit service. What is the ADA? What is the Americans with Disabilities Act? The Americans with Disabilities Act, or the ADA for short, is a civil rights law that was passed in 1990. It prohibits discrimination and promotes equal opportunity for individuals with disabilities. The ADA covers all areas of public life, employment, schools, any places, facilities, or events open to the public, and transportation. The Rehabilitation Act of 1973, Section 504, required state and local governments to provide accessible public transportation. Now, the ADA has expanded that to all public transportation providers. Disability Defined According to the Americans with Disabilities Act, disability is a legal term, not a medical term. It is defined slightly differently than other laws such as Social Security. The ADA defines a person with a disability as a person who has physical or mental impairment that substantially limits one or more major life activities. The ADA also makes it unlawful to discriminate against a person based on that person's association with a person with a disability. What is a service animal? Under the ADA, a service animal is any dog or a miniature horse that is individually trained to do work or perform tasks for the benefit of a person with a disability. Please note, the Department of Transportation definition of service animals includes other animals, so long as they are specifically trained to perform a task for someone with a disability. This includes anyone with a physical disability, sensory disability, psychiatric disability, intellectual disability, or other hidden disability. Other species of animals, whether wild or domestic, untrained animals are not considered service animals. If the animal is not trained to do work or perform tasks, the animal is not protected by law. The animal, and only the animal, can be refused access. Hello. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Is that a service dog? No, this is my cat. I'm sorry. Cats are not allowed on the bus. Only service animals. What kind of things service dogs do? When we think of service dogs, most people think of guide dogs for people who are blind. But service animals do so much more. Tasks performed by a service animal must be directly related to the person's disability. Service animals are specifically trained to help a person with a disability perform a task that is difficult or impossible because of the person's limits. Here are a few examples of what service dogs do. They help people who are blind or have low vision travel safely. Alert people who are deaf or hard of hearing to the presence of people or sounds. Maintain the safety of their handler. Pull a wheelchair. Help an individual during a seizure. Alert individuals to the presence of allergens. Retrieve items such as medicine or a phone. 
provide physical support and assist with balance and stability to individuals with mobility disabilities. Help people with psychiatric and neurological disabilities by preventing or interrupting impulsive or destructive behaviors, and much more. Service Dog Certification and Vests The Americans with Disabilities Act requires service animals to be trained, but does not require service animals to be certified or professionally trained. Although registries exist, there is no requirement to register. However, it's important to understand service animal certification does not give the handler more rights. Some handlers prefer that their service animal wears a vest signifying that the dog is working. Some handlers need the dog to wear a vest or harness to assist with a task. Service animal, therapy, or emotional support animals, what's the difference? Therapy dogs are trained to behave appropriately in institutional settings such as hospitals, senior centers, or long-term care facilities. These animals are not trained to perform a task for a person with a disability. Therapy dogs are not protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act. Transit systems are not required to allow therapy dogs access to transportation. Emotional support animals eliminate or reduce symptoms of a disability by being with their owners, but have not been trained to do a specific task related to the person's disability. Emotional support animals are not covered by the ADA, and transit systems are not required to allow them access to transportation. Service animals that have been trained to do at least one task for the benefit of the handler with a disability. The work or task must be directly related to the person's disability. Service Animal Handler Responsibilities What are a service animal handler's responsibilities? The handler is responsible for the care and supervision of his or her service animal. The handler must follow all local and state laws regarding required vaccinations. A service animal must be housebroken and under the control of the handler at all times. If the service animal behaves in an unacceptable way, the handler must regain control of the animal immediately. The transit provider may ask an individual with a disability to remove a service animal from a bus or facility if the animal is not housebroken, if the animal is out of control, or the handler doesn't take effective action to control the animal. What is the responsibility of the transit provider? Transit providers must allow transportation access to service animals. Allowing any animal to board public transit without proper screening endangers everyone, and to a greater extent, those riders who rely on service animals. To determine if the animal is a service animal and if the disability is not obvious or you are not sure, transit providers can ask, one, is the animal required because of a disability? Two, what work or task has this animal been trained to perform? Is your dog a service animal required because of a disability? Yes. What specifically does the dog do for you? If the dog alerts the handler, you may ask one additional question. How does the dog alert you? It's important to know that the service animal must not be distracted. If a passenger or driver desires to pet a service animal, the person should ask before petting. It is the handler's right and power to allow people to pet the animal, but most don't as it distracts the animal from its duties. We ask that everyone respects the handler's choice. Service animals provide amazing benefits and support to riders with disabilities. We hope that you have the confidence to recognize service animal and handler teams and welcome them onto your transit systems. Public transit plays a crucial role in increasing independence, equal access, and livelihood of riders with disabilities. The definition of service animals recognized by the Department of Transportation is different than the Department of Justice's definition. The Department of Justice only recognizes dogs and miniature horses as service animals.